I've noticed on a lot of these ground cables, which this one's apparently brass, but a lot of them, a lot of them I've seen have been uh, magnetic, magnet will stick. So this one can go in my little. This one's got Phillips screws. Usually they're like quarter inch or something. And we've got our wires. So I'll uh, get our nuts over here. Grab a couple of tools here. Guess I gotta get something small for that. Uh, I'll try these. Yeah, see that? Yeah, I gotta pop those things off of there too. I'm gonna have to get a little wrench or a little socket on that thing. These Phillips head screws, they wanna strip instead of break loose. Now these things have metal rings on them. You can see they stick to the magnet. I'll just throw them into my tin bin. Uh, let's see what we can. Okay, here's our here's a three sixteenths. Hey, that's way too small. Let's try a, a six millimeter. Too small. What do you want, Oreo? What you want, huh? Really, you're gonna come up here on the table, workbench? Okay, a seven millimeter. Yeah, he's starting to be my buddy now. He's following me everywhere. These things have always, I've had this set for years and they've always been hard to get out of there. I guess I keep this little poker in there. Hey. And of course the whole thing's trying to turn. So, see if I can hold it with the Phillips. I may just have to take the grinder to it and just cut it off. Yeah, trying to break it loose with the, the nut, but the whole thing wants to turn. Yeah, that one's turning too. Okay. I'm giving up on that way. Put this stuff away. Get it out of the way. And for those guys that have earbuds on, pull them out, turn your volume down, because here comes the angle grinder. So, when all else fails, just cut them off. scrappers if you don't have an angle grinder get you one as soon as you can they come in very very handy for a lot of things okay now we'll pull our bolts out and if you get an angle grinder look in the description below the video for my affiliate link I have some uh, Go yonder cutting discs on there. Get a 
pack a box of 50 of them for about $27. So it works out to just a little over 50 cents a piece. <coughs> They're good cutting discs. They work well for me and others. Chris, Chris Lessig, I think that's how I pronounce his last name, Lessig. He uh, wanted me to give him a shout out. He's a scrapper out here in Trickershay. He's the one that told me about the fifth wheel. Do it that way then. I guess he's going to try to come over Saturday and we're going to try to work on his trailer. Okay, there's that one. Now what I do with these, it kind of play hard to get. Raise that up so you guys get a little bit better. You may not see me hit it with a hammer, but grab one of my punches. Put a punch on it. Of course, I'm using this little hammer. But if it fails, get a bigger hammer. And this was made from a couple motor casings. Welded them together. Okay, let's see. These usually clean up pretty easy. Pop that off. Sometimes we can get in here and Pop that one off, a little piece of metal there. Get a little bit of this oil impregnated cloth, whatever it is. I got a little metal sleeve in there. I'm not sure if you guys can, if the camera's going to pick that up or not. Most likely there's one in this one also. Yeah, I talked to Roger the other day from CU Scrapping. He's staying pretty busy. He's picking up more contracts, so. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna knock these bushings out. Other than these bushings, just clean cast. So we'll knock them out real quick. Let's set them up, up on top of here so they got somewhere to go. That one's out. That means for it to seal itself back onto the motor. I might flip this one over the opposite direction so maybe it won't do that. Okay. Got 
both of them out of there. Throw them in the tin bucket. So these two here now are basically clean cast aluminum. We'll shove this mess off to the side. Okay, I'm going to grab the angle grinder again, so watch the ears. Here we go. Doesn't take much on that. Unless it's spot welded to it, and this one might be. Oh, has a little pin in there. I don't know if you can see that little pin right there. Yeah, that little pin sticking into a hole right here. Huh. I think it's the first time I've seen that. Yeah, a little cool out here today. I get a little cold on the hands. Other than that, it's not too shabby. Let me grab a file. We'll take a look here. Yeah, it's copper. Good. Thought I'd check. I take one of these hook blades, just come through here and cut all these strings right there, and go this way. Sometimes I just go ahead and go around the whole, the whole one side. But right now I'm just going far enough where I can cut these insulator wires out of here. You got that little, little piece up here. I'm not sure what the thing's called or even what it actually what it's for, but just that little metal piece. There's not too many of these strings left on this one, on this side. Okay, so I'll go ahead and cut that side off real quick. Plug your ears again. Here we go. I had one guy in that <coughs> video where I was cutting down that compressor. He was saying it wasn't worth it because I used up two discs, two cutting discs, to cut, you know, one to cut the thing open and one to cut the copper. Well, the one to cut the thing open, I still got this much of the disc left. So, you know, I still got a lot of disc left. And that one's still pretty much full. So, he was saying, you used two discs on that at $3.58 a piece. I don't know where he's buying his discs, but he's getting ripped off. Like I said, these go yonders, yeah, just over 50 cents a piece. So, but since I got I got this one up there, so I thought I'd go ahead and 
and give it cut it too so yeah I mean that one I used to cut open but I knew it was too short to cut all the way through so that's why I put a new dis disc on there <coughs> but I'll use this to cut cases open cut angle iron or stuff like that I got this one here on the shelf yeah here's the one I was just showing you I'll flip it around and here's one that was on the shelf that I can still get a little use out of and you can see even there the difference between the two or do it this way I don't know this might show it up better you know how much is left there so I mean I try to get as much use out of them as I can it doesn't take a, you know, a few seconds to you know, take one off, put one on. I'll go ahead and cut that one since I had it, and since I was doing that with the other one. I'll run in and turn the air compressor on and be right back. Go ahead and get this done. I have to start looking for another one. Yeah, I didn't get it quite all the way out of there. This is the one we tore down, so from scratch. Get the dumpster garbage can a little closer. And it's just a matter of getting all the string out of here and these little plastic pieces. Get this part here cleaned up and we'll get us a weight. See what this thing weighed. Yeah, it looks like I might have to start looking for another air chisel. I thought that being Angus all ran, it would have lasted a long time, but apparently not. Yeah, I got an email this morning from a company. They want me to do a review on an exercise bike. But that doesn't really fit what we do here, does it? 
Yeah. I mean, I'm not a workout channel. You might get a workout while you're out there scrapping. Moving some of the side-by-side -side refrigerators and some of the other heavy stuff that we run into from time to time. But, uh... A lot of us don't have time to jump on a bicycle and go nowhere. We're gonna, if I'm going to jump on a bicycle, I think I want it to be an electric bike. Yeah, getting a few strings here and there, and it's a nice chunk of copper there. There's a nice chunk here too. That fit nice in the crucible, and it might end up in there. Who knows? Okay, it was kind of hard to see what was going on because so much of this was out there in the way. And so I know I still have some that are inside the stator there. I got loose wire everywhere here. Strand here, strand there. Let me hang this up out of the way. Trying to get a lot of these loose strands in there. Not that it's going to make a big difference on weight, but hope everybody's doing good out there. Find a lot of scrap. I know it's. Heading down to the feed store today to get some dog food, cat food. Kind of on, kind of on one of the, it's kind of a main road, but it's kind of a back road too. So the way the highway wraps around, a lot of people cut down that road to, because it is shorter to get to, you know, it's Highway 76. A lot of people cut down that just as you enter town instead of having to go through town I can't say that it's any faster going actually you know it's not faster really but uh, if you did the speed limits a lot of people a lot of people here in Blanchard 50, 50 is the new 35 you know I've gone that way thinking, oh, it's faster and stuff, and there'd be a, a truck ahead of me when I would turn off and go that way, and then I'd come into town and I'd see that truck go by. So, I said, well, it really didn't save any time. Okay, let's see what we got on the weight. Either read the scale or not. I'll try to drop it up on the knife. Walk around here where I can see it. One pound, fifteen point four ounces. So almost two pounds of copper in that one little motor. Not too bad. <laughs> and then if I want to add this to it. Three pounds, ten ounces, a little over three and a half pounds. So not too shabby. But hey, I go, hope you guys enjoyed the video. About five o'clock now here, my time. Wife ought to be getting dinner ready, so this is usually about the time I wrap it up out here. So, okay, throw it on the floor. Yeah. Live bluebird, folks. Yeah.
So, hey, check out the uh, Amazon affiliate link. It'll be, it'll be in the description below the video. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.